Now, all the people affected by the flood in, in Maiduguri, Borno State, are trying to uh, get some semblance of normalcy as a result of uh, that flooding. There are other states that are at risk, particularly in southern Nigeria. And this morning, I want to ensure that all of these states and others who may be affected understand what is coming, what to do, uh, so we don't get caught napping. And we have joining us on the program this morning, the Director General of the Nigeria Hydrological Services Agency, Mr. Umar Mohammed. He joins us live from our Abuja studio. Mr. Mohammed, you're welcome to the morning brief. I know it's been a busy period for you, uh, seeing uh, the situation in Borno now having to give uh, some sort of warning to southern states, uh, Adamawa, uh, Taraba, that's in, in the north, then Benue Central, Nasarawa, Kogi, but then add Edo, Delta, Anambra, Bayelsa, Cross River, and rivers to that list. It's said to be a uh, release of water from Lagdo Dam, as you said, but I'd like you to begin by telling us when will this begin, and then we'll talk about what needs to be done. Mr. Mohammed. Yeah, good morning. Thanks for having me. Uh, I'm uh, Femi Bejide, Director of Operational Hydrology, representing the DG. Umar Ibrahim Mohammed. Oh, interesting. And uh, the situation, the situation is that uh, the, La uh, the Cameroon Nians and the Lagdo Dam the water is being released already since uh, uh, yesterday. And uh, there is an agreement that uh, the water should be released in phases. So NISA, Nigeria Hydrological Services Agency, is in constant, you know, communication with the management of uh, Lagdo Dam to release water intermittently in order for the river Benwell in Nigeria to be able to contain such water so that there will not be much flooding as it used to be. And the Nigeria Hydrological Services Agency have uh, issued an alert a few days ago to uh, 12 uh, states as well down, downstream of uh, River Benue, as we have uh, highlighted. So the waters are coming, and our stations at uh, Wuroboki, where the Lagdo and water from Lagdo Dam enters Nigeria. Our station there, we are in contact with them even up to this morning before I enter the studio. Uh, the water level is still at a, is still normal, though rising, but not at an alert rate yet. Red alert. So the water will be coming down to Lokoja, down throughout those uh, south south states, down to rivers, down to Bayelsa to the ocean. So for now, there is calm and normalcy, but the water is being regulated from Lagdo Dam, the release. So, uh, well, I, I know that this may make it to our blooper reel because we expected the DG uh, didn't know that you were going to be the one to uh, represent him on the program this morning. Uh, but are you saying then that the water is being released already? Yes, water has been released already right. from the Lagdo Dam. Okay, and, so, uh, so that, that is the when. The water has been released. I imagine it's going to be for some weeks. Now, let's talk about what uh, needs to be done. Uh, we saw what played out in, in Borno State. Uh, the Alo Dam, the, the old one and the new one, one of them giving way, breaking. And I imagine that states, other states will be learning from this. So what needs to be done? to contain the water, because naturally water will find its level, and we don't want that level to be in people's homes, streets, disrupting businesses and livelihoods. So let's talk about the what now. For those states you have listed, what do they need to be doing as soon as yesterday? Yes, uh, our agency, Nigeria Logical Services Agency, is our statutory responsibility to warn the uh, populace and early this year, in March, we have released the what we call Annual Flood Outlook, AFO. And it has been circulated nationwide to the governors, to the state, to the local governments, and to NEMA. 
So preparation for this flood has already been on since. Now that we have released also a red alert about three weeks ago on River Niger uh, Basin and uh, Kanji Dam and Jeba Dam, they are also on alert and they have prepared for the waters coming from the River Niger flank. Now it's River <coughs> Benue coming from uh, Cameroon Lagdo Dam. We have also and as an agency meets with the, um, the management of Lado Dam. So the water coming is, can be contained. Everybody has their part to play. As the federal government is doing their part, our agency is doing our part, NEMA is prepared. Individuals also have to do their own part. They have to move from the flood plain. And houses also, their drainages, they have to clean and clear their drainages. Like you have said, water will find its way. So the waterway should be cleared. The drainages should be uh, cleared to allow this water to pass. So and where there is no drainages, they should begin to quickly construct and give and make a way for the water to pass. And that is the responsibility of everybody, the community, the villages, the villagers, and also individuals. Look at your house. If your house is at the uh, flood plain, please move from the flood plain. It's an appeal. Uh, so, Mr. Bejide, um, I'd like to you know, quickly pick it back down to last year when water was released from Lagdo Dam. I recall that the Honorable Minister at the time said uh, that uh, the flooding of 2023 was not a result of release of water from Lagdo Dam because only 1% of uh, water released from Lagdo Dam gets into Nigeria. So I'd like you to provide some form of clarification because you are from the Hydrological Services Agency that advises on um, water and uh, you know surface ground uh, possibilities. So, what exactly is responsible for excess flooding experienced in these states, particularly the uh, coastal states? Um, is it water release from Lagdo Dam, or is it the advent of climate change as we're witnessing excess rainfall and rising water levels? And in the future, what can be done? Um, to mitigate flood disasters. Thank you. The uh, flood incidents that we are experiencing is not as a result of release from Lagdo Dam. This is a result of climate change. And uh, the a, a, a so much amount of precipitation, that is rainfall, excessive rainfall, within a short period of time. What we're experiencing in uh, Borono is not as a result also of the release from Lagdo Dam, and uh, it was as a result of excessive rainfall, unusual rainfall, because of the effect of climate change the temperature has increased, the glacier uh, places have been melting, snow melting, and the uh, ocean waters rising. These are all what causes the flooding in Borono. And um, this lack expense of rain water is going to flow down through, overflow the two tributaries entering into uh, allow down and the spill will uh, give way, and that's what caused that flood. So the flooding we have experienced already in Nigeria is as a result of precipitation. Precipitation means rainfall, excessive rainfall, and it's as a result of climate change. Having cleared that, there is also river flooding. So from the release from Lagdo Dam in the past also, has caused also flooding in 2012. So, but that is why the Nigeria Hydrological Services Agency 
has been in constant uh, contact with the management of uh, Lagdo Dam for the release of water intermittently. So, to be able to allow the river Benue uh, system and the tributaries to be able to contain that water and the passage of it through the, uh, the state that we have allotted down to the Atlantic Ocean. All right, so... So, but what has to be done also is that um, there is a report that has been submitted to the uh, presidency. Um, we have to have buffer dams. And uh, five have been proposed, and uh, the federal government is looking at that already. So, but at the interim, some of our dams have to be desilted. The uh, tributaries of River Niger and Benue have to be uh, expanded, river trainings and such likes have to be uh, done. All right, let, let's talk about what you may understand. I, I don't know, it, could, could you call it the understanding of urgency? Because if we factor in the five years that the Lagdo Dam was built, between, say, 77 and 82, Lagdo Dam has been there for over 40 years. And we're still having this kind of conversation in 2024, more like nothing specifically was done to ensure that when these releases happen, um, it doesn't really, there are no structures, maybe infrastructure in place to con besides the drainage, because we're talking about uh, environmental issues such as pollution here, we're talking flood, we're talking even displacement. So in the short term and the long term, like you started highlighting, what can be done as soon as yesterday to begin to reverse some of these things that will come back next year and talk about Lagdo Dam? We'll come back in 2026 and talk about Lagdo Dam. Forgetting that Lagdo Dam was, was built in 1982. I don't know if they catch my drift. Yes, I, I do. Uh, what to, has to be done uh, is there is nothing wrong in uh, water being released from Lagdo Dam. There is nothing wrong in having ex, uh, two, uh, excess water in a country that we need water and that we can use for agriculture, we can use for irrigation during the uh, dry season. What needed to be done has been done, reports have been written, studies have been carried out, evaluations of dams, everything. So what needed to be done is the buffer dams to be built. Like uh, in Adamawa State now, there is supposed to be a buffer dam that will take this water that is coming from the Lagdo Dam entering Nigeria. There should be a buffer dam, and it has been proposed. And I learned that is on the drawing board. Uh, sorry, it has uh, the design. There is a, a little um, issue with the design, and they are trying to make an amendment to the design. So. I believe that uh, in the next couple of years, maybe two, three years, that will have been put in place. And we won't have to be talking so much about this. Flood cannot be eliminated completely, but it can be severely mitigated, reduced drastically. And if these uh, buffer dams are done and uh, constructed, and also our rivers, because uh, it, it has been silted, even the dams also have been silted over the years, the carriage capacity, it has been reduced to almost 50%. So that if this is done, and, I, and the government is already taking that proactive step gradually, and it's unfortunate that uh, we are talking about it now, but it's better uh, late than never. Pardon me, Kadi, but um, 296 billion naira has been allocated to the Ministry of Water Resources in the 2024 budget. And uh, prior to this time, NIMED had uh, sent in early warning signals about excess rainfall for this year. Why hasn't the uh, construction of these dams that you talk about not been prioritized in the 2024 budget, particularly because of the amount of rainfall that we've witnessed in the last two years? 
Yes, uh, I'm in Nigeria Logical Services Agency, uh, but the parent ministry, Federal Minister of Water Resources and Sanitation, and uh, there is a Department of Dams and Reservoir Operations. And the little that I know about that is that the minister, of course, he was in Bologna uh, last week, and uh, they, they have been having a series of meetings. And like I said, uh, they, they, this is being prioritized by the ministry and by the minister. And what, what I can say on that line is that for the Ministry of Water Resources and Sanitation, they are trying their own best to see that this uh, flooding issue is mitigated. And uh, the flood committee that was set up on the federal level, they have submitted their reports. And one of their reports is that uh, 3 billion Naira should be given to each state, which the federal government have done already. And uh, there, there are other issues on the reports, and I believe they are working on it. Uh, well, as we wind down, um, one of your core responsibilities is to provide security for life and property against water-related hazards, such as floods, which you're doing, and drought as well, through forecasting and related activities. So I'd like us to be more specific. So we have these states uh, that are at risk, uh, Adamawa, Taraba, Benue, Nasarawa, Kogi, uh, Edo in the South Delta, Anambra, Bielsa, Cross River, and River State. Are you saying that since this will be re released in bits, these states will not be flooded and this will not result in displacement and all? Because we need to have a mental picture of what to expect. So in terms of your assessment, your forecast, is there any state that will be most impacted? Or you're saying that with the gradual release, things will go fine? Yes, with the gradual release, our, our, our own position is that with the gradual release, the things should go well if other people and other parties do their part. What I mean by that is that uh, the drainages, if they are not cleared, that's not the work of a Nigeria Geological Services Agency. It is uh, the local com and the communities have their parts to play. So and uh, but for the water being released it can be contained it can be contained so but the other issues here is the local government is the state government in their own domain where this water will pass have they cleared it along the streams also they are passing through some some houses and the villages have they also cleared their own drainages and things like that all right and some places even they have no drainage so their part is they should do their part but for us we are we are ensuring as an agency that the uh, water coming can be contained through the channels all right i know there's a lot of work you do aside uh, flood pre prediction there's a drought bit. There's even using water uh, to meet our needs. Uh, we know what uh, you know. Public water is like. Uh, so your work with the you know uh, the water corporation and all of that. But we'll explore that uh, perhaps another time. I uh, would like to thank you so much. Uh, you're representing the DG, and we hope he's fine. Uh, why he's not able to join us today? Because we had expected him. So we hope that the DG is fine, uh, not being able to come today. Yeah, it's, it's fine. It's because uh, he has to see the Honorable Minister this morning. That's why. All right, Ms. Oluwafemi, Vigide Director, Operational Hydrology, NISA, thank you for your time. Thank you for having me. So, if your state was mentioned, then you have to stay alert, find out what government is doing, and ensure you're playing your part as well, because time is of the essence. But we'll take a moment now. What will return? I will talk about Nigerian stories on the big screen. What does it take to tell these stories? How lucrative is it? And maybe you might get some suggestion for movie night. Well, stay with us.